Keffels announced that there would be a interview between him and Christian Weston Chandler, the one and only, uh, today at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. You may be wondering. Uh, today is uh, it's not, what is it like what almost seven seven in Eastern Time? Where's the interview? Were you going to live stream the interview, Josh? What happened to the interview? The answer is that Keppel's backed out of live streaming it and instead decided to pre-record it. And I think I know why. Uh, what possible motive? Here's the funny thing, right? Keffels hates Kiwi Farms, right? Very big, mad, angry at Kiwi Farms. Goes out, tries to do platform, platform Kiwi Farms. Tries to get Kiwi Farms blamed for swatting. But then, and says that, oh, but by the way, Q Farms evil doctor website. What does Keffels do in this last week? Um, oh, I didn't even mention this. It should have been a part of my notes. I don't have this offhand. Um, there is a, let's see if I can find this real quick. No, I'm not. Um, basically, Keffels, um, I, I, I did mention on stream that Keffels was, accusing his ex of raping him um and the ex has said that this is categorically false uh it is a complete fucking lie and uh as a result of this the ex has served keffels a cease and desist keffels responded to receiving a cease and desist over a um false rape allegation by number one reading his ex fiance's full legal name on stream as part of reading the cease and desist which if you're wondering yes indeed the full legal name of this person uh is a male name so right off the bat kafals decides not only to dox this person's name this ex fiance's name but also to dead name him by using his full legal name which is a big no-no very Kiwi Farms ask, I think, actually. Then, what was the other part of that? Oh, he uh, pulled up his ex fiance's law office, like the law firm that sent the cease and desist, and made fun of it and said that it was based in a shitty part of town and made fun of the street that it was on and, and how the street had uh, some poverty uh, looking homes. So, on, on the heels of dead naming his ex, he also went out and made fun of the fact his ex did not have the money to hire a ritzy lawyer and made fun of the poor and impoverished folks who live in that part of town uh, for not having the nicest homes, which if you're a progressive type that wants to uh, enable uh, poor people, people of color, uh, probably is not a good look to go out and make fun of them for living in shitty houses, which so that was also a weird thing to do. If you're trying to be a bread tuber. And then uh, on the cusp of this, uh, Keffel zeded out a meme. And it was a picture of low tier God, the kill yourself meme. And he had replaced uh, kill yourself with decease and desist. Or so uh, kind of implying that uh, his ex should kill himself, which is also very Kiwi Farms esque. And what, what does he decide to do? What does he decide to do after uh, falsely accusing his ex-fiance of rape, um, trying to ruin his life, dead naming him, embarrassing, embarrassing him for not being able to afford a nice lawyer, poverty shaming him. Uh, he sets up an interview with Christian Weston Chandler, who is the ground zero for the Kiwi forums as the quickie forums. Isn't that interesting? It's almost as if Keffels did not care about the Kiwi Farms insofar as he was upset that we were making fun of him. And if we had gone away, I kind of wonder if Keffels would have just set up like the Keffels Farms and it would just be making fun of people that Keffels doesn't like and everybody else would be banned. <laughs> kind of wonder because it does feel very, maybe, we'd hit, maybe he'd even have his own Christian Weston Chandler segment. So, because apparently he likes Chris, he's interested in Chris story. Very interesting chat. Very interesting. Um, oh, by the way, my, my suspicion is that Keffels is hoping that Christian will shit talk me 
and tell me that, uh, or tell him that I had hurt him or encouraged him to do something illegal in some way. And uh, he's going to be very disappointed because I bet you, and I know some people who are following like the, the Christian news um, will assume that I'm wrong because of uh, he has written, he wrote in like his art, um, his jail letters that I was like a Judas. Uh, they kind of figure that um, I will, he'll, you know, shit talk me uh, and call me like a Judas betrayer. However, I have it on very good authority that Chris has nothing negative to say about me. Not a single thing. And now I feel like the whole reason I, I, I kind of regret saying anything about it because I, I, um, I made a remark that I know what he's trying to do. And it's going to backfire on him. So I think he decided as a consequence of me saying that, that he won't live stream it because now if there is any part where he's trying to convince Chris to shit talk me and it blows up in his face and Chris doesn't say anything, uh, that part is definitely being, being edited out. Uh, so the interview is going to be un un unremarkable and not funny because he had the foresight to, to not stream it, which kind of sucks because it would have been funny if he, if it did blow up in his face. Such as live chat. Scaffolds can't be funny, can't be entertaining, can't be interesting, even even incidentally. Just the, the most insipid fucking loser on the planet. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!